we are going to do something else today with the pegboard. We are going to find the highest common factor. Let's do it and you understand what we are trying to do. Let's choose a number. Choose 20. So I'll put my number here, 20. Just as we did before, we have to find the prime factors of 20. Let's start with the first prime factor. What's the first prime factor? Two. Okay, let me use the pegs to create 20 here. Oh, this two one ten. ten. Two, two tens. tens. Okay. So you said two can and twenty can divide can be divided by two exactly? Yes. And if we do that, what would be the answer? Ten. Ten. Okay. So 20 divided by 2, so 10. One. One. Two. Three. Four. Can 10 be divided by 2 exactly? Yes. If you do that, what is going to be the answer? 5. Okay. So, 10 divided by 2. So, 5. Let's write the answer. 1, One 2, two. Three, four, five. Let's continue. Can five be divided by two exactly? No. You cannot do that? Yes. Okay, so five will not work. Well, two will not work anymore. Let's choose the next prime factor. What's the next prime factor? Three. The lowest. Uh -huh. Okay. Can 5 be divided by 3 exactly? No. So that will not work. So what is the next prime factor after 3? 5. 5. Can 5 be divided by 5 exactly? Yes. If we do that, what are we going to get? 1. So you said 5 can be divided by 5 exactly? Yes. If you do that, what are we going to get? 1. Okay, so five will work. So five divided by five? One. One. So we can see here the prime factors of 20. Yes. Okay, we have broken 22. It's prime factors. So. Okay, before. let's choose another number. Let's leave this here. Let's choose another number. Let's choose here. You know, so I'll put 36 here. Just as before, we create 36 with our page. One, One tens, tens, two, two tens, tens, three tens. tens. the lowest prime factor and what's that? 2. So can 36 be divided by 2 exactly? Yes. 
If we do that, what are we going to get? 18. Okay. So, 2 will work. So, 36 divided by 2. 18. Let's write the answer. 1 tenth. 1 ten. 1 unit. 2 units. 3 units. 4 units. 5 units. 6 units. 7 units. And 8 units. Okay. Let's continue. Can 18 be divided by 2 exactly? Yes. So, divided by 2 exactly. If we do that, so it, if we do that, what are we going to get? 9. So, 18 divided by 2, 9. So, let's see. 2. Can 9 be divided by 2 exactly? No. So 2 will not work anymore. Let's think about the next prime factor after 2. Three. 3. Can 9 be divided by 3 exactly? Yes. If we do that, what are we going to get? 3. 3. Okay. So, 9 divided by 3 equals 3. three. So, 3. Okay. So, what? Two 1, units. Two, 2 units and 3, three. units. Okay. Can 3 be divided by 3 exactly? Yes. If we do that, what are we going to get? One. One. So, so three can be divided by three. And the answer will be one. Yes. Um, so, I just put our answer here. Okay, so again we have broken 36 into its prime factors. 2, 2, 3, 3. Okay, so we are going to So just as we did before, let's we have twenty here. Yes. The prime factor of twenty. Equals what are the prime factors of twenty? We see them right there. Yes. So can you get them and put them here? Two times two times five five again I'm going to we already have the prime factor of the prime factors of thirty six So what are the prime factors of 36? We have the number here. So we have them right here. So gather them. So get the prime factors of 36. Equals 
pulse. Two times two times Okay. We can see something here. What are the factors that these two numbers have in common? Look at them. We have what is it? Two. And we have two here. Look at this. We have two, two. Yeah, and we have two, two here. here. What do we have here? Five. Do we have five here? No. We, what do we have here? Three. Do we have three here? No. Okay. So we can see that the numbers, the factors that these two numbers, 20 and 36, have together are, what are they? Two mm -hmm. and two. What? Two times two. Okay, so we'll bring this down here. These are the ones they have in common. These are the ones they have in common, right? So we say that the greatest common factor the greatest common factor of 36 and 20 equals 2 times 2. Yes. And what would that be? So the greatest common factor of 36 and 20 equals 4. I want you to note this. Multiples give us LCM. Okay. Factors give us the greatest common factor. And what is the greatest common factor? Is the largest number that two or three numbers have in common. Okay? Yes. The largest number that two or three num um, numbers have in common is what we call the greatest common factor. So from the work we've done here, what is the largest number that 36 and 20 have in common? Which is, which is equal to four. four. Okay. So you can go ahead and find um, the greatest common factor of any two or three numbers. Okay. What numbers do you want to choose? For no, 22 and um, 48. 22 and 48. So go ahead and find the greatest common factor of those numbers.